because I I don't like being too young and I don't like being too old. I was born in 1916 and I'll be 101 at Christmas. In 2017, Age Concern, Epsom and Yule, turned 70, and to celebrate, we held the Golden Days Family Vintage Festival for everyone, grandparents, grandchildren, and all in between, in Nonsuch Park in July. At this free event, we celebrated with music, dancing, cream teas, curries, classic cars, double-decker bus tours, dog shows, competitions, games, history and storytelling. Over 5,000 people joined us and raised over £19,000 for our charity. Hello and welcome to our Golden Days party. Some of our clients were unable to access our summer event, so we held a Golden Day tea just for them and brought as much of the summer festival to them as possible. Sideshows, bunting, cream teas and wonderful music made for a very special afternoon. fundraiser from Age Concern Exum and Yule and this is Dora May, Chief Officer. Together we um, help run the charity Age Concern Exum and Yule um, which oh, is 70 yeah. years old. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. we are very, very proud of. Um, in the summer we had our Golden Days Festival which was about awareness and fundraising and some of our clients couldn't get to that. So today, here they are. Uh, I think 70, 75 of them um, being brought here by our volunteer drivers in minibus, buses, their own cars, etc. And they've had a really scrumptious team and seem to all be nattering away and enjoying themselves. Fun and games kept our clients amused and entertained and came in the form of a tombola knock down the can, raffles and even a human fruit machine. Over 40 amazing volunteers made the Golden Day possible for our clients. They drove them to the event, prepared food, served food, played games, decorated the venue and enjoyed a fabulous afternoon with our clients. It wouldn't have happened without them. Over 80 of our clients from the borough of Epsom and Yule attended our Golden Day Tea, celebrating 70 years of age concern Epsom and Yule. They all appreciated the chance of a social event, as many were not able to get out very often. A band of merry volunteer drivers from age concerned Epsom provided transport to and from the event. A delicious cream tea with vintage china and cake stands 
was served with entertainment by the fabulous Downsman, a local barber shop choir. It was a day to remember. so active. Cannot do some of the things I used to do, um, but um, I can still uh, be an accountant, yes. help other people, and... Uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an actor because I like, like seeing other people, meeting new people on set. But I was in the 1948 Olympia squad, for Hurdley. Did you ever fall in love? I fell very much in love and married the lady that I fell in love with. I used to see her when I was in the Royal Navy, home on leave. I used to see her in the bank. I was waiting to be served and I saw this lady just so I can hear the grounds are about that much. Walk behind this partition. And I thought, she looks lovely. Uh, later on that weekend, I was on leave from the Navy. I went to a dancing school where they had taught me to dance. And who did I see? The young lady. And I went across and I said, may I have this dance? And she agreed. While I was dancing with her, I said, I saw you yesterday, and I only saw your head and shoulders. The rest of you was just as lovely. <laughs> and we finally got married. My name is Mildred Schutz, and I'm 93 years old. I'm Nigel Bailey, and I'm 84 in a week's time. My name is Max, and I'm nine years old. My name is Barney and I'm eight years old. It's getting old, scare you. You're as old as you feel, that's what we say. And it depends a great deal on how active you can be. If you could have one day of being young again, what would you do? I would like to go up a mountain of 21,000 feet in Nepal. I'm very pleased to be able to come to age concern and be with people instead of sitting at home on my own. And then when war broke out, I joined the Wrens. And we were a very sweet little wide branch of the of the Wrens. And uh, we uh, listened in to the enemy uh, U-boats and E-boats sending messages across the ocean to one another. And they worked in groups and the they, we used to intercept their messages, and for a long time uh, they couldn't decode these messages. But then, um, after a while, they captured one of the German submarines, which was, um, they were bringing food to England, and we intercepted the submarine, and on this submarine was a code book and an Enigma machine. That Enigma machine 
um, change the code every day, and we were able to we were able to get we were able to find out what what the messages were by looking at the code code book, and uh, that they said um, uh, caused the war to end two years earlier than it would have done otherwise. Chris Grayling MP, the Mayor of Epsom Liz Frost and other local councillors enjoyed the afternoon tea and joined in the fun with our clients which included playing the human fruit machine, knocking down tin cans, tombola and the raffle. One lucky client even got a kiss from Chris Grayling as well as winning the raffle. Concern Epsom are an independent community charity supporting, informing and connecting people in the borough, providing many services from a medical transport service, information on finances, help finding a local tradesman, to a very active social inclusion program. With no statutory support, we rely on donations and our amazing 250 volunteers to provide our services. <laughs> <laughs> 